<laughs> What's happening? These are my kids. Next Wednesday. They're going to be staying with me for the summer. And you didn't think this would be useful information to me? Their relationships will be tested like never before. I always wanted to be a mommy. And if Rich can't get on board, then he's not the man for me. I'd need to see a doctor immediately. I'm going to be a great father. And you're going to be a great mom. Honestly, I want to have my own kids one day. This isn't how I imagine my life. Tyler Perry's Sisters. All new next Wednesday at 9. Okay, Sisters fans, you just saw the promo for next week's episode, Season 5, Episode 6, entitled Pretty Hurts. Now, the synopsis is rather brief. The ladies talk about their life in their 30s, while Fatima keeps a secret from Zack. Meanwhile, Gary tests the waters with Tamara. Now, in terms of the Gary plot, we do see that he and Penelope were apparently invited over to Hayden and Tamara's place for dinner. And as soon as they come through the door, Tamara's like, what are you doing here? And Gary's all, wait, is that any way to greet your guest? And Hayden is talking to Gary because Gary kind of leans over to him and tells him something very interesting. What you need to do is get a big fish, someone who's headline worthy. So is that Gary taking a swipe at Tamara telling Hayden, you need to be with somebody who's more high maintenance, somebody that would, you know, get other people's attention because like, wait, look at that woman on Hayden's arm. It's like something to that effect. Gary tests the waters with Tamara. So I think this means that Gary is still skeptical of Tamara and her intentions, not to mention why in the world would Hayden invite this woman back into his life. Uh, so from there, we have Karen and she has a, I don't know the full details now, but we know she's at the hospital and she's talking with um, somebody at the front desk saying, I need to see a doctor immediately. So could this be a checkup or something? This can't be a DNA. Well, then again, we do know she does go to Zach in that one promo about season seven saying I got a DNA test, but it's clear her going to the doctor. Now, Zach doesn't know about this. Zach hasn't provided his DNA. So what? What in the world is she doing? Is she just going to get a checkup or what? We do know this could be that moment where she's in the hospital and then that one nurse shows her the screen and that caused her to like, you know, fall out. So, well, not fall out, but, you know, her head just falls on the, you know, back on the pillow on the bed because whatever she's shown or told is shocking. Could this be the whole twin thing? Who knows? But it looks like during the, um, meeting at the law firm i don't know if this is the actual hearing itself or just another kind of you know mock trial if you will where they go over details and whatnot to see if they have a strong case but zach is in tears going like i want to be a great father and i know you're going to be a great mom but then later on in the trailer and maybe this is in reference to fatima's secret that she's keeping from zach um she's talking with angela going honestly i wanted my own kids someday but this isn't how I imagine my life, which makes sense. I mean, yeah, you know, a lot of women or girls dream about the day they become, you know, wives and mothers. But mm, I don't think many, you know, girls dream about becoming a mom with a man who has multiple baby mamas and multiple kids. So unless you're Nick Cannon, I don't know if you're trying to get that money, but whatever. So. This is interesting. Maybe this is one of those things where Fatima is expressing her true feelings to another person who isn't Zach. And look, I'm not trying to dog Fatima here, but it's like you have a choice. You could in Zach told the last season, it's like, look, you can stay or you don't have to stay. It's pretty much up to you because he wants to do what he has to do, what he needs to do as a father. And again, I'm not dogging Fatima, but this is just a lot to take in at once. I mean, trying to plan a wedding no because you got to figure out the whole kids and dna stuff first so um speaking of the law firm well speaking of kids actually we have danny who is trying to get intimate with tony in his office you know she's you know undoing her dress and everything and then next thing you know bing elevator doors open and two kids run out and she's all like wait a minute what's this and tony's like danny these are my children and they're staying with me over the summer so it just makes you wonder one of two things. Number one, did Tony never tell Danny that he has children? I don't think that's the case. That That's just a wild card. 
a draw four and uno that is like, no, nah, that's just way too crazy not to tell somebody. Even though there are plenty of examples in this show with men like Gary who have kids who the other women don't know about. But that's neither here nor there. Um, so, so yeah, Danny could have been shocked by, you have kids? But I'm more inclined to think that maybe, just maybe, she's more shocked at the fact, at, at the fact that the kids are here now and they're staying all summer. So it's a matter of Danny going, wait a minute, like, wh- don't you think that's useful information to tell me that you'll be keeping your kids over the summer that could be the reason as well so i don't know uh, what exactly is going on with that this could also be the episode where tony's ex-wife is introduced because those kids just came up on the elevator so it's pretty clear that maybe the ex-wife shows up at some point um i don't know to look danny over or something i don't know but this is definitely an interesting episode because it seems like all the women are going to have that one thing they're going to discuss with other, um, you know, their friends about their relationships. Like, for example, with Sabrina, we do know that apparently for her birthday, there's something they're doing at Andy's uh, penthouse. And she's like, I've always wanted to be a mommy. If Rich isn't on board, he isn't the man for me. And I ain't going to lie. Sabrina, even though I'm glad she's speaking up for herself and whatnot, she seems a bit passive aggressive about it. And look, you know, And I'm not saying Sabrina needs to compromise what she wants. If she wants kids and Rich doesn't, then fine. They don't need to be together. Simple as that. But it just seems like, one, her desire to be a mom just came completely out of nowhere. Imagine if you were rich and, you know, for three months, everything is good. Sorry about this chair. It is making funky noises just and stuff like that. You probably heard it several times in this video. If not, that's good. That means it wasn't picked up by the microphone. But, yeah, when it comes to, you know, Sabrina, she... For, I mean, literally, imagine three months you're with um your significant other, things are going well, but then in the midst of them coming home drunk, I want to have kids. Wait, what? Give me your sperm. And then, you know, it just felt weird. Like for me, Sabrina in last night's episode, she stepped on Rich's moment, you know, in his uh, sheer excitement of sharing his plans for his new restaurant location with Sabrina out of nowhere. I want to freeze my eggs. Wow, Sabrina, way to kill the mood. Just like Zach showing up to the salon the way he did, you know, killed Karen's big night. It's like you could have waited another time to bring that up, but you want to (laughs) just wow. So, yeah, I always want to be a mommy. If Rich isn't on board, he isn't the man for me. Okay, you talk all big and bad now, Sabrina, but the next time you um interact with rich are you going to have this conversation with him or what i mean and not and look like i said she she's free to walk when she does want to walk but it is kind of messed up though because what about it two episodes ago you two agree that you know instead of cutting each other off you'll just kind of see how things turn out and if you know one of us doesn't decide to change how we view our future, me kidless and you with kids, then I guess we should break up. But that has, yeah, Sabrina is just really fickle about it. And it's kind of weird because it's almost like, even though I've liked some of the changes with the characters, now these women are kind of reverting back to their annoying selves and I don't like it. And I hate to say that. All right. Now, next up, we're over at the law firm. And Hayden is talking to Andy, just, you know, throwing some shade at her. It's like, (laughs) well, I'm sure you have more important things to do, like standing next to a man. Me, on the other hand, I have real cases to do and work with. Okay, dang. Dang, Hayden. And then another scene is the fact that um, Jordan, he's on the phone with Andy. He's going, I love you. And Andy's like, um, yeah, I got to go. So this could be in reference to, you know, Andy maybe finding out some dirt on Jordan, because remember, In last night's episode, there was kind of the paranoia of politicians, you know, once they get involved in like an election and whatnot, the mudslinging is going to occur. Like Jordan's opponent had that um, dirty skeleton in his closet about a young intern and whatnot he was involved with. And it's like, yo, he always promoted himself as like a family man. And now that's ruined him. Now it's like Jordan. We knew we do know um, Gary was getting some sort of story cooked up on Jordan Uh, which may or may not be true. So maybe Andy hears something about that and now she's paranoid. So 
yeah, the uh, trailer talked about how all these relationships will be tested. Now you got Andy with the potential dirt on Jordan. She finds out um, Danny handling Tony's kids and, you know, how that's going to impact their relationship. Sabrina wanting to have kids and that's going to impact her relationship with um, Rich. And then, of course, you know, Fatima and the whole baby mama and kid drama with Zach. So, yeah, the title is called Pretty Hurts, but sheesh, this is crazy. But with that being said, that's pretty much the trailer for next week. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.